asking for FN2 content. This is on the red FN2, however. So, what we do have planned for today is just to go um, view my, my friend. It's actually dynoing his car, tuning his car. He only has a, I think, header, exhaust, and a chip on. So, I'll just show you guys that as well. As well as I am driving my other friend Chad's uh, FN2 championship. Both is actually championship editions, one is silver and one is white. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd take you guys along and show you guys some um, FN2 content. In 1.5 kilometers, keep right onto Bofors Circle.
other still my good um, uh, fly power. Fly, fly, oh, yeah. this video uh, just to discuss a company that has reached out to me and offered to sponsor me or for me to uh, sell their products via the channel um, so what I am going to do now is just set you guys up on a tripod and do a little bit of an unboxing and showing you guys what this product is all about okay guys so this is the product that we'll be doing the unboxing on uh, this is how you will receive the box um, you will also have instructions behind the box what you do receive in the box is two devices, one for each door and then two magnets that will sit onto uh, the sashi. So basically how this will work is you would use some 3M tape and stick it onto the device. The device then gets sticked onto your door and the magnet gets sticked onto your sashi. So basically how you activate it is you press this little button over here and then as you guys can see there's a little logo. Um, then the logo will basically disappear every time you close your door and the device hits the magnet when you open it up it will appear again i think this device is a very cool thing especially if you are rocking up to a meet and you open up your door and there's a little sign showing on the floor bear in mind that we do have um, different uh, brands as well or different manufacturers um, what i've also seen is day from daily driven exotics has a very similar device on his hurricane okay guys so just to give you some more information on the company that has offered to sponsor me what they are also able to do for you is what they call pace indicators so on a golf 7 your indicators indicate simultaneously however with the pace indicators your indicator will then indicate separately so for example your inner and your outer indicator will indicate separately what he's also able to do is what they call pulse indicators so this is more for your front headlights so basically your daytime runners and your indicator will then indicate uh, separately he also mentioned that he is able to increase your throttle response uh, flash your dsg gearbox as well as add some torque um, to your steering to assist you a little bit with handling as well um, i'll just also add a few um, pictures on the screen just to show you what else they're able to do for you um, and then if you guys are looking for more information i'll just link his information in the description as well as you guys can dm me on instagram so without further ado let's get back to this video flashback
rai in your corner to see reha toki and I'll come lost a slat to you. A slat the richter block or a slat the hat since he's a young rat. Slat the banana block a bricky discard. Yeah. And what the car is there? This is in the water, but this thing. Oh. Yo, my dudes. So someone asked me in the comment section, uh, what do I drive as a daily? Or what do I drive when I'm not driving the EG? Um, so what I do drive is a Opel Corsa Bucky, a 1.4. Ironically, however, um, it actually broke, oh, I think about a week ago. Um, I was driving the other day and it just all of a sudden started missing. Um, I did assume that it was a ring, so however, when we did open up um, the engine, uh, we did find that the cams were actually damaged and a few other things as well. I'll just add a list onto this video. However, the Bucky is right now and this is actually the first drive. Um, everything does seem okay. Um, however, there is a slight shudder that only occurs sometimes. So that is kind of confusing as to what it could possibly be. However, it's going back to the mechanic and that will be fixed as well. Um, so yeah, I thought I might just um, create this video for you guys, seeing that you are curious as to what I do drive as a daily. Um, so yeah, hope you guys do like this video. Peace out.